New tonight, CBS 8 has obtained transcripts of sidebar hearings in the murder case against Larry Miliete. The public was not allowed to hear these private conversations, which took place behind the scenes during a 10 day preliminary hearing. As CBS 8's David Gofferson reports, during the sidebar conferences, the judge and the attorneys spoke openly about the most controversial evidence in the case. Is there any reason why you did not take photographs of the attic? From day one of the preliminary hearing for Larry Miliete, prosecutor Christy Bowles had objected to cross-examination questioning by defense attorney Benita Martinez. So I would object then. Some objections made publicly in open court, others in private during secret sidebar conversations. Nine of those sidebar hearings were on the record and CBS 8 recently obtained transcripts. Did you see any evidence of any blood splatter inside the house? Yes, I did. The first sidebar dealt with blood found in Maya Miliete's master bathroom. Your Honor, I didn't want to do this as a speaking objection, Prosecutor Bowles said during the sidebar conference. There was a blood collection in the bathroom. The blood was tested. Although it is female blood, it's not Miss Miliete's blood. How many times did you travel to Lake Havasu? The next secret sidebar concerned Maya allegedly drinking during a family trip to Parker Dam. Defense Attorney Martinez, my client's wife left the children in the trailer and they went to a bar, a floating bar, and were there until early morning hours drinking. Judge Dwayne Mooring, counsel, if you want to impeach the character of her being this loving mother by evidence that she was out drinking and left the kids unattended, fine. I would prefer that you get to it in five questions instead of 20 questions. Prosecutor Bowles, whether or not May went out drinking with her sister is irrelevant. And I think this is part of Larry's fixation. Keep in mind, there was no jury during this preliminary hearing. So the judge apparently held these secret sidebars in an effort to keep highly prejudicial evidence and personal details out of the public realm. May was so in fear for her safety that she locked herself in a bathroom. But Mr. Millett punched through the drywall that was next to the bathroom door. Following testimony about Larry Miliete punching holes in walls, another sidebar. Martinez, she planted and stated all those negative stories about Mr. Miliete's physical violence or abusiveness to her friends and her relatives, when in fact, they never saw any physical violence. Judge Mooring, how are you going to prove what you've just stated? Just because you disagree with the statement doesn't mean it shouldn't come into evidence. In another sidebar conference, the judge admonished the defense attorney for not doing her homework. Counsel, if you're going to be representing him and doing a competent job, then you just need to make sure that you have a mastery of the evidence and you've got to anticipate what is going to come in. You've had this case for quite a while. You should be on top of it. Martinez responded she continues to receive large amounts of discovery from the DA's office and it's, quote, an extreme hardship on the defense. <clears throat> David Godfordson, CBS 8. Other sidebar conversations dealt with more personal issues like an extramarital affair and an alleged abortion. We posted those transcript excerpts at CBS8.com. Larry Miliette's next court appearance will be March 22nd with a trial date set for September.